thing is over, what will you do with your dress? Well, one upstate organization is offering to take them off your hands. And as 7 News reporter Christine Brown shows us, it's all for a very good cause. There was nothing to bury him in. He was only about three pounds. After losing her premature newborn just months ago, Jessica Bain, grieving, had to face hard decisions. Very difficult. I had to pick out a gown. A Piedmont group called Angels Unaware swooped in to help relieve some of the burden. Trying to buy something to bury your baby in is one of the hardest things a mother will ever do. They hand make gowns small enough for parents to bury their miscarried or newborn babies. They're shipped to 12 hospitals across five states. There's no words to express how much it helps for your child that is not going to live and you know that they'll have something beautiful. Ramona Tucker started the group at home after her grandchild was in the hospital. While he was there, they lost so many babies, and we decided that there was something that we could do to help those families. But now the gowns are sewn by 53 volunteers behind a church in Piedmont with donated wedding and prom dresses. They can turn one dress into 10 to 15 angel gowns. They've made over 5,000 gowns so far, and they want to keep moving forward to make loss a little easier for families after their angels are gone. A mother never gets over that feeling of losing a child. Never. In Piedmont, Christine Brown, 7 News. What a wonderful thing there. Check out WSPA.com to find out how you can donate to Angels Unaware. Stay with us. 7 News at 6 with Tom and Amy starts now.